Hello? Oh, hello there!
Hey everybody out there in TV land, how are we doing? Welcome and welcome in Ram Ram hitting us up, hitting us up with first. You guys know it if you ain't first, you're last. All this, hello, hello, great to see those VIP hearts. From hello, good to see you in chat, the big O. First from second, or first for second. Good to see you, bud, good to see you, Loom Puncher. With the Kawa Saloon, how are we doing this uh, Thursday? Was it still Thursday? Terrific Thursday, Chad. Welcome in. Welcome in. Alrighty, chat. Well, you know how it is. No fun till infinite, right? And where we left off yesterday, we were below 70. I climbed a bit last night. Uh, I think we're up to, let me see here. Made our way back up to 73. I'd like to hit 80 before the end of the stream. I think I'm just going to get sweaty as shit. Which means we have to be retreating. We have to be watching out, make sure that we're not losing cubes. Make sure we maximize our profits and minimize our loss. What about you guys? How is your climb going? Marks, good to see you in chat. Pulled Helicarrier today. Ooh, only three Series 3 cards left. At least until the next uh, series drop. I did vote in your poll, Loot Muncher. Um, I said no. I think I would not be happy. Loot Muncher's got a poll, guys. If you guys are interested, go check it out. He poses a hypothetical. Uh, if... Second dinner was to say, we are going to rework Leech, and that patch comes in about two weeks, but we're going to disable him from the game as a hotfix immediately. Would you guys be happy or not happy about that? And uh, by all means, let me know in chat, but hit up Loot Muncher's Twitter and vote in that poll as well. Personally, I, I don't think I'd be too happy with it. Just let, let the guy fly. Like, if a rework's coming, cool, but if, um, I, I don't know. I don't like the idea of hot fixing him out of the game. Just feels weird. I think it would cause more... How do I put this? Unnecessary discussion on the internet? That would be my fear of it. Gained eight ranks today? Hell yeah, loot. You've been facing lots of bots, all this, getting all those eight cubers off bots. I love it. I dig it a lot. All right, well, let's see here. Maybe we'll get some eight cubers. We did make some changes to this deck. All uh, America Chavez isn't in it anymore. We've got She-Hulk in there instead. I guess the tracker just hasn't updated yet. Maybe once we jump into our first game, we might see it. Yeah, lots of bots. Hmm, interesting. Maybe we can get some bots. Doesn't quite look like it for our first opponent. All right, we've got Quinjet. This is uh, this is pretty good news, without a doubt. I'm gonna play Quinjet in Asgard. Uh, I don't really like to play Quinjet in unknown locations. It just feels a little risky. Yeah, see what I'm talking about, chat? See what I'm talking about? Feels a little bit risky. Seeing Space Stone. That feels really good. We just need to find the lockjaw now. And even if we don't, it's still at least... Um, so yes, yes, loot, absolutely. 100%. Um, don't, don't worry about asking that. In the future, loot. You got this. But, um... Yeah. What was I getting at? I think I was wishing for Lockjaw, but we didn't find it. We can still use Space Stone for just some move, which would be good. Also, just draw. I like to just draw. That was a really nice Sabretooth skin. I liked that a lot. It looked really good. Wow, four mana and nothing to do. 
All right, we're gonna draw and then just keep the space zone so we can draw again. Yeah, I was worried about them killing off the Green Goblin. We just gave them a two extra power on the Carnage. Although they definitely did that in the wrong. No, it doesn't matter. That's not Venom. Ooh, we got a cheap She-Hulk though. That's pretty good. Ooh, and a Lockjaw. I'm pretty sure this is the way we play this out. Is this going to be enough for us though? I don't know. They could have Null or something. They snapped. I mean, I think we're doing pretty okay here with the She-Hulk coming down. I'm not playing Leech. Dino's gonna be 8, 3, 11 next turn. We will have a She-Hulk for 10. Uh, Blue Marvel only puts 2. Yeah, we're doing Thanos, giving in to the dark side. Hey, if you can't beat him, join him, right? Yeah, I don't I don't like this so much. We're not we're not losing that extra key there. Escaped. I mean we'd have to beat Thanos, but I mean not Thanos death. We'd have to beat him. Luke, did you pin the wrong one, my friend? Oh no, please watch. Okay. Oh, wait. Oh, whoa, whoa. I know these people. All right, let's get this up here in a second. I don't know how the volume is going to be, but I'm definitely going to watch it. Uh, Google? Oh, I can't spell Google. All right, first things first, chat. And I'm sorry I forgot to do this. But it is always kind of nice when I forget to do it because then that reminds you guys that it's a possibility. I need to get our VIP dice. There we go. It is on screen now. And I'll pop this video over onto here. Pull the volume up. That shouldn't be too bad. We're going to pause the music just for a second. All right, Luke, what we got going on here? Uh, they're on the loose. This was chaotic. Pictionary finale. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I've been waiting for this for a hot minute. All right. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's good. That's good. Ben Broad is a full character without a doubt. That was fantastic. Thank you, Loot. Oh. All right, let's see if we can get some cubes. We got Leech, Lockjaw, Super Scroll. It is, it is incredible. I can't do that. I don't have that magical ability. That's for damn sure. All right. Alright, I'm definitely playing Mind Stone. There's no way I'm not playing Mind Stone. It's just good draw. I'm gonna turn this down just a bit. Got the window open tonight, and um, I think you guys could hear the helicopter outside. Yeah, now it's not as loud. Okay, that should work out. I can even bring it a little closer to me. Interesting. We have an opportunity here to disable Limbo. For a surprise turn six win, potentially. Where's all these destroy decks coming from? I mean, I guess it's Nimrod, right? You like the Thanos deck uh, Chrome posted? Oh yeah, but I feel it's uh, too high of a cost. I like using this deck. Why Super Scroll? Because I love Super Scroll. Straight up because I love Super Scroll. Um, I started putting Super Scroll in Thanos decks for when our good friend... Uh, 
Dark Hawk was extremely um, relevant in the meta. So it kind of worked to, you know, I'd get a Dark Hawk and a Mystique. They have my, many less cards than I do in their deck, but like it's, it's doubling up. Uh, it's also good against the Mirror because they're Blue Marvel, uh, they're Khazar, they're now your Blue Marvels and Khazar. Um, Super Scroll is definitely not needed in this deck. It's just, I like the card and I add it in my spice. Uh, Goose gets a little awkward from time to time, but it is, it is nice being able to lock a lane away for big cost cards and just know that your opponent's funneling those high cost cards into other lanes. Um, it's also super dope. Uh, to have like Plunder Castle or the big house pop up and then you moon stone Goose over and you just win the lane. Um, but Goose is a little awkward. Cruel Master, good to see you in chat. Welcome in, welcome in. Uh, it is going fantastic. We're just here on a sweaty climb. We're just here to do the sweatiest of the sweaty climbs. You know what? Captain, Captain William, good to see you in chat. Welcome, man. How'd that tournament end up going? Did you win? I know you were participating. I don't have Discord up at the moment. Dino makes sense. Your hand's always full. Yeah. Yeah, got him. Got him. Got him with the reality stone fake out. You did indeed. Very nice, Captain. Very nice. Maybe I should have snapped there at some point, but the important thing is not missing any retreats. I really don't want to miss any retreats. I've gotten really bad at retreating, and I think the first thing to getting sweaty, knowing when to retreat. Yeah, it was, it was pretty snappable, especially considering they didn't know it was a boomer snap, right? I think that's my only worry was does um oh, wait a second 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 we got all these big cards here like dino and valkyrie and i guess dino could potentially win space throne we can always get green goblin up underneath here okay i do kind of like this it's a little scary. It's a little scary, but I kind of like this. Go ahead and lock this lane. Why is my deck tracker not updated? It still says I have Chavez in deck, and I do not have Chavez in this deck. Yo, Stizzy88, good to see you in chat. Evening, evening. What are my thoughts on skipping five levels after you rank? Um, it, it is a good short term, it is a good short term alleviant. I think the true issue is, is season reset. I think we shouldn't get rounded down at the bare minimum. We shouldn't get rounded down with the way that the, the current reset is set up. Um, And I think this is kind of a step in that, right? Where if you got reset down, well, as long as you can get up there, you're going to get a bonus cube. So that reset isn't as painful. But uh, yeah, I think that's, I think that's it. It's, it was a good thing. They, they tried a thing. Um, it's good. It works. But it's not the ending solution. There are other other things that need to happen for that for rank to feel okay on the climb again to get an edge. I also think it might be a step into eliminating bots because one of the major one of the major like good things, quote unquote, about having bots in the game is the fact that I don't know if I win this with just four power. I'll give it a try, fuck it. Is the fact that there's cube inflation. So cubes can come from bots. And, uh, wow, okay, 
inside of the death domain. Very interesting. So that's a way to like interject cubes into the ladder, right? Because if in PvP, every single time that you play against somebody, right, uh, there, there's actually an exchange of cubes there. So in theory, it, without things like, um, there's, we beat him by two, he beat us by four. There's um, one data mine card where it's a 6 0. And if you play it, if you win the game, you get double the cubes, right? That's cube inflation as well. So without mechanics like that in the game, bots are the only way for cube inflation, inflation plus the 10 that we were getting at each rank. Now they've increased it to five. So it might also be a way for them to test the waters and see, like, is that enough cubes interjected into the system to where it doesn't feel, you know, it doesn't stagnate. Because if there's a limited amount of cubes out there, you're really going to have only a few people infinite. Hey, are you guys friends? And a few people who aren't. Maybe. Flat Nito, thank you so much for that follow, friend. Getting us one step closer to our mysterious follower goal. That's going to happen at 1250, 1,250 followers. We will achieve a mysterious outcome. Um, we may even announce it prior to, to hitting the goal. Um, I'm still playing around with it. It's a little bit of a mystery to me as well, but really appreciate you following in here. Um, speaking of which... We got a new subscriber while we were offline. Plays games poorly. Really appreciate you using your Prime sub here. Taking a little bit of those Bezo bucks and uh, getting some of the, what I think are the best, uh, best emotes on Twitch. But, you know, I'm a little biased. <laughs> oh, Kawa. Kawa, what up, my friend? We, uh, we actually just watched... Your little tweet, little teaser for the last episode of Pictionary. Absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. I can't, cannot wait to watch that, uh, to watch that episode. Rio Metal Tiger, it's going well, bud. I hope you're doing well. Good to see you in chat. I, I was not aware that Ben was a wizard. And, uh, I mean, I can't do that. That's pure talent. Just pure talent. <laughs> How you doing tonight, Metal Tiger? We are just going to try to climb this ladder as sweaty as we can. And honestly, like, with Super Scroll down, I feel really good against the Mr. Negative deck, because, like, their best things are whatever. Uh, we can pull that negative, but that's the only thing we pull. We can get the Mad Titan down now. It's not terrible. Let's play. Let's play Marvel over here, and we'll place this Space Throne to threaten our ability to move Dino. Do you know when the when you'll be able to release that video, Kala? You have it scheduled up. Cause I'll mark my calendar, I swear I will. You're doing well, Metal Tiger? Good, good. Iron Man. The climb's alright. Yesterday we were doing, um... We were doing okay. They rogued me? Oh, that's cute. So my dino moved over here. We got my Iron Man over here as well. So can we win this at 16? 12, that's 18. It's not terrible. We could hit the Angela, but then the rogue still, the rogue gets bigger, which is a problem. I think that, I think pulling Mr. Negative off is not useful at all. So we just play from most power. Oh God, wait a second. Wait a second, Quantum, Quantum Realm kind of ruins us, right? Kind of ruins us. 
So I mean, if we moved something over here and we pulled six off, then we're still missing a bunch. Pulling, pulling six offs is just not enough. A Valkyrie here is definitely no good. What if they do this? That seems like. Alright, let's get that out Anyway, sorry, Metal Tiger. Uh, the climb's been going on. We, we dropped down to 68 yesterday, so today I'm much more focused. I'm much more sweaty. We're going to try to get to infinite. We're gonna, not, not necessarily tonight. I want to get to 80 tonight at least. On the uh, we lost the mission. Of course we lost the mission. Uh, right now on ladder, uh, Tia, we are at, I think, 72 point something? 72.7. So we're doing all right. You've been trying your best with the Nimrod Destroyer Galactus package. I want to play that Metal Tiger, but no fun till infinite. No fun till infinite. I don't want to try to learn a new deck necessarily. I don't like learning new decks on the climb. I like just playing what I know. And I, I, this is a, like the American Chavez version. We got to reset untapped. It's not working correctly, but the American Chavez version of this is the one that I took creators clash. Oh, Wolver Thor official. Good to see you in chat. What's the good word? You're the good word, bud. You're the good word. You know, we just trying we just trying to be sweaty on that ladder. That's all. I really hate triskelion. There's like literally nothing I hate worse than triskelion. 77 middle tiger, very nice, very nice. Yeah, I'm I'm definitely Definitely thinking this this season is going to be a bit more of a climb than I was expecting it to be, for sure, for sure. Lou, you got a new camera? Is it like a webcam camera or a film taking camera? Because I am kind of thinking about a new webcam myself. This one, this one's a. Uh, The autofocus kind of gets a little crazy for me, especially when I move around. But maybe that's just autofocus. Rank wise, we're at uh, 73.7 right now, Wolver. 77, 73.7. So I really want to try to hit 80. I really want to try to hit 80. So I'm like super focused. Super focused on just being a sweaty climber. Let me think about this for a second. I think I want to do this. What turn is it? Okay. I'll hold Power Stone. Ooh, Metal Tiger. You going up against some snappy opponents? That's rough. Tio, you've been bouncing between 70 and 75? Yeah. Yeah, it feels like busting through and getting out. Always a little bit of a... A trouble. All right, very interesting. So they crossbones here, which was pretty good. I was thinking about hobbing it. Hobbing here is not terrible. How do I win over here? With blue marble? Blue marble and one power stone? That's not going to be enough, right? They'd be at 12. I'd be at 12. Well, that would tie it. So I think we move a squirrel over here. And then Blue Marvel here makes sense. Yo, Bumper Lips, good to see you in chat. Got your first cube boost, feels nice. Good, good, I haven't gotten mine one yet. It's one uh, loot, it's the one that Kawa has, like three of them for the event. Oh, okay, nice, nice. Yeah, I don't know if I need an upgrade or if it's in my head first. Yo, Valentine Raiders! What's up, my friends? Welcome in, welcome in. We're getting sweaty on the climb. 
So I'm I'm just kind of staying focused, watching the game, making sure that we're kicking it. Val, it's pronounced Valentine. Oh, it even says it right in your dis your um <laughs> right in your description, dude. Valentine, so good to see you, bud. I don't know. I see the th. I, I kind of want to go for it. I do just kind of want to go for it. Dude, I hope I hope your climb's been going well. Always happy to see you. Good stream and all that. All right, we got this. We're gonna do another one. You get it? It's why you put it there. Yeah, it's, it kind of—it's just kind of fun. I like the way it just kind of feels sometimes. Of course, I mean I'm I'm on brand, right? It's the it's the channel of mispronunciations and misplays. So welcome in Raiders. This is what you're in for. We're trying our best today. No misplays, just sweaty climbing. Sweaty, sweaty climbing. I'm not a big fan of what our hand looks like right now. You, uh, mm. That was clipped, right? Right, Val? That was clipped. I'm gonna I'm 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 gonna go look at your channel later tonight and see if someone clipped that. Bumper lips, you've been having a sweaty climb? Yeah. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see, Val. I'm not so convinced that I'm gonna have a super good climb. Not super convinced that the climb's gonna go insane. Hello, <laughs> go clip it. I'm I'm definitely gonna be looking for it. I I just trying to imagine how this accidentally happens. Like you didn't even say like a switch cart accidentally got in my mouth. It was I accidentally put a switch cart in my mouth. So like was it next to a bag of chips? Because that's definitely what I'm imagining right now. Ooh, bumper lips. Not a big fan of the move decks, right? They can be rough for sure. I mean, we're up against the move deck now. If they if they heim on us, they heim on us. But I mean, I got Valkyrie. Valkyrie feels good. I don't think I can go another turn without drawing a card. So. Oh, you forgot about the coding. Okay, yeah, because they don't, they specifically make a point to coat those things such that they taste disgusting so that, I, you know, people don't do that exact thing you did. <laughs> uh, which cart was it? I, I guess I missed the most important question. Was it the Breath of the Wild cart? No, well, I mean, I guess you're not the crowd control Breath of the Wild part, but yeah, was it Breath of the Wild? Do we have priority? Shit, we have priority. That kind of stinks. I don't like having priority here. This is probably Heimdall, right? No, impossible, because it's it's underneath everything. I have priority. They're not going to fill up Dark Dimension. They just don't do that. Right? It doesn't happen. If they Heimdall, they might. No, because they only have two here. Well, there's no discounts. I mean, I feel okay about this one. I mean, honestly, this one almost feels like... Like I could snap it. I should be winning both left and right. Fire Emblem engaged. <laughs> oh, okay. I think Breath of the Wild is one of the only cards that I have. Okay, yeah, you win left. Congratulations. But we should be able to take mid. Right? Doctor Strange? Ooh. Well, then we take left. That's not multiple math, right? Okay, then we take left. 
Oh, now you move something to the left. Gosh, this is... What the fuck? Like, how am I supposed to account for those many freaking actions? And still just one off. So, like, literally don't play Space Stone. Literally don't play Space Stone. I would have won. This came down to Space Stone. Oof, oof. All right, well, 2020, 2020 hindsight. Yeah, bumper lips. That was, that was so much, there was so many actions that they were able to take there. A little nutty, a little nutty, but we'll, we'll handle it. No problems, no problem. Look, sometimes you take a couple on their chin, you know, you're climbing that ladder and you knock a rung down, you fall down a little bit, but we can get there, we can get there. I mean, this is an okay looking opening hand. I've got the card draw. I got a little goose boy. I always like seeing my goose. Super flow shows up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right, I can play the space stone so then we can move the goose boy or the soul stone so that we don't actually brick our lane but we get our free card. Oh good. Hey, that's my card. How'd you get that? Okay, maybe it's his card. Maybe we have the exact same card. Actually, if I move, it's not gonna work. Is it? There we go. Oh my gosh, yes. Yes. Copy that. Um, boop, boop. <laughs> oh my goodness, you had, you had the mode on too. I haven't snapped yet. Um, what I want to do doesn't work the way it, I want it to. It definitely doesn't. Gosh, an X Mansion's bad for us too. All right, let's turn on this little bit here, so everyone can see Val eat or accidentally put a cart in his mouth. <laughs> the disappointment. Oh, there's just that moment. You can see it in your eyes, like you've you've realized what you've done. <laughs> oh goodness. Oh <laughs> so good though. So good. I kinda wanted to fill this lane, Tia instead or Tio instead of um and I knew that like if I moved a card I wouldn't be able to fill it. I mean I guess I could have lockjawed into it but I wanted more activating spots for lockjaw. Um and I guess it ended up working out for us. Right, so I think we end up mini winning Superflow with Valkyrie, and we can uh, we can cycle the free Galactus we got. Thanks a lot, Pub. Ah, we found the leech. We found the leech. Level. Good evening. Good evening. Are we double leech? Who's got the better hand for leech? Okay, well this is no longer this is no longer what. Ooh, voice modification random. What do we get here, Tio? A cartoon man. Not quite sure what that might sound like. But thank you for the channel point redemption. Ren Dog, good to see you in chat. Welcome in, welcome in. We're just getting sweaty on the ladder today, guys. Just getting sweaty on the ladder. Level was about to do it, too. <laughs> Actually, I think I want to say that if... Two of those get queued up. 
If two of those get queued up, they should actually wait for each other in order. I want to say that happened, but I'm not 100% positive. Is this a good voice dad tactical? You like it? You have about 10 seconds left for it. You barely understand anything I say. It's so cursed. What if I talk about a goofy cartoon character? That, that was probably even worse, right? Try to give it a cartoon inflection. Cartoon, man. Alright, so not one to put on the permanency of channel points redemptions like the narrator was. Hey, we gotta, we gotta fix untapped. It is busted. Right? It still says America Chavez. America Chavez is not in this deck. We have to exit? Quit? Alright. And then pull it up again? One of the Jackbox narrators? Oh, is that the narrator voice? I still, like, I went back into stream to, to try to... Check on that and see how the narrator sounded. Not gonna lie, I kind of, I kind of fell asleep before I got to that part. Uh, cooldown should be sixty seconds. Should be sixty seconds. Hey, are you guys friends? Maybe. The exile deity. Welcome in. Appreciate that follow, friend. Getting us one step closer to our mysterious twelve hundred and fifty follower goal. I mean, what's going to happen? What's going to happen when we hit 1,250 followers? It's a secret. There we go. There we go. So we'll, we'll just have to find out. Um, I think we actually snapped this because Quinjet and District X. Oh, victory. Late from the Valentine raid. Hey, good to have you in Exile Exile. Thanks, thanks, thanks. Saving up for VIP roles? Yeah, I can't mod and VIP, unfortunately. And I did, like, make a bunch of the channel points cheaper. Now, I also just realized, you might be asking, what's the cooldown on, like, redeeming a voice modification channel point? And the answer is, I don't know. Let's see here. We did random. Do I have cooldowns enabled? I do. Oh, 15 minutes. 15 minutes. I guess we could probably, I'll think about it. We might drop some of the cooldowns on voice modulations. That way, you guys, if you really wanted an auto tune stream and you want to pay for an auto tune stream with your pets for Micho, you could probably get it. Secret secrets hurt someone? Oh, don't worry about it. Dear. Look, we won't keep it a secret forever. I'm I'm pretty sure we're going to be making the decision and committing to it before we hit 1250. I just got to make sure I have everything before I say that we do the one thing. Mostly it's time. It's mostly time. But we might have to go to like a backup. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, snap.fan is down. Yeah, it kind of ruins their tracker a bit. I don't know about untapped. I haven't experienced that yet. And sometimes it's it's just the the hug of death, right? The hug of death, they just have too much traffic. Just tries to go nuts trying to connect and break the connection. I haven't used snap.fan in a while. Untapped is convenient enough for me to not be playing around with other other attempts. Do I need a draw here? Not really, right? I just She-Hulk. I mean, I can draw and She-Hulk, right? Yo, villain! Coming in raiding. You were up in the high 90s, right, villain? How's your how's your climb going? How is stream? Good to see you in. Welcome in, more raiders. Welcome in. This is the channel of mispronunciations and misplays. And we are getting sweaty on the ladder tonight. I don't like that snap at all. 
I'm gonna be honest, guys. I don't like that snap at all. Why are they snapping? I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the bolt. I want to draw a card. This isn't LJ? Lockjaw is in here somewhere. Lockjaw is in here somewhere. Also got Thanos, though. Ooh, 98. Yeah, you gotta walk away sometimes. Good call, villain. Good call. Sometimes you just have to walk away. Hmm. There's a Shuri. That's up against the Shuri. Oh, but they can't really play in Vormir, right? Ooh, spicy, 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 spicy. Oh, and they can't really play in the Goose Lane either. Oh, 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 I can play in the Goose Lane. I can play in the Goose Lane. Does Thanos win this for us? He doesn't, right? So we can just activate on Vormir as well. I think I snap back. This guy is so fucking bad anyway. Snap. This is your first card game, Fly Mighty B. You never knew how tilting that could be. Yeah, sometimes being up there top, it's just best walk away. Villain did the right thing. Don't tilt too hard. Because the thing about tilting is that it just kind of spirals. Also, Metal Tiger, 100% agree with your hard. The mattress screw on Snapchat fan is excellent. Um, I've always got the tracker like running in the background so that I can go to Manchester. For sure. Random still on cooldown? Has it been over 15 minutes? Alright, let me let me play this round. We'll see. We'll see how it looks. I mean it's just this, right? Like, it's just every day this, always this. I don't see how they beat us. Like, you might be able to take over Hell's Kitchen, but how do you take over more? You have She-Hulk? You have She-Hulk and Taskmaster. She-Hulk's 20 here, so you go to 21. Wait a second, time out. Time out. 20 here goes to 21, right? Yeah, well, not anymore. Um, can we guarantee? We cannot guarantee that we get over 20 here. We can't. Mm, well, wait a second. 16 plus 3 is 19. They'd be at 22. 19 to 22. I've got Valkyrie, Leech, and Super Scroll. Super Scroll would lose it for me. Mm. Mm, Super Scroll would lose it for me. 15. I can't go over the top there either. Let's do this. Let's do this. This adds four here instead of the three that Magneto would add. Okay, I like this. My audio is kind of loud. You can barely hear me. All right, let me see here. There we go. I didn't realize Snap was that loud. So I'm using a different headset. We need to pull the snap down. Thank you. Thank you for, for mentioning that, Dio. So it was just the snap music that was too loud, right? Or do you think the music is kind of loud, too? I can pull it down, too. I'm using a new headset, and I think that changed the uh, the audio levels. Or not a new headset. I'm just using the, the beanie speakers today. All right, let's see here. Um, Silver Fox, good to see you in chat. You've been stuck stuck at 68, 69 the last two days, and it's very tilting. Yeah, being right on the cusp like that is super tilting, for sure. Um, Why well, Mighty B, you like it because of the art, but had no idea what was going on, plus uh, your daycare bandit because they said the monsters were too violent and some crazy stuff? Oh, talking about Yu-Gi-Oh, yeah. Yu-Gi-Oh is pretty good. Yu-Gi-Oh hand trap days, yeah, I could feel that. How's the audio now, guys? How's the audio now? Level, I've not acquired any more Series 5 yet, unfortunately. Music is fine. Game sound was loud for some reason. Yeah, the, the game sound... I think I know what the game sound was. Actually, now that I think about it, let me see here. I wonder if I go here and I do this. And then just touch that. No, it's still about the same audio. Yeah, I think it's because when I Bluetooth connected this, my computer thought that all my audio settings should change. So, we should be good now. Please let me know if, it, if it's not, though.
Yeah, if there's any number to get stuck at, 69 is at least the nice number to get stuck at. I see I see where you're getting at. I see where you're getting at, Fly Mighty B. Sanctum Sanctorum? Oh, man. Oh, man. I should have probably played Mind Stone last turn. But that's okay. Well, it's definitely Avengers Compound, I think. Right. Then we can end up having six mana for turn five. Do we do we want six mana for turn five? <laughs> yeah, don't suffocate your opponent. Yeah, you gotta be careful about that when you're at rank 69 for too long. I mean, it's just Lockjaw. There's nothing else that I can do. I mean, I could save my mana for She-Hulk, and then turn five, I'm forced to play She-Hulk into the Lockjaw lane. That's not good, right? Nobody wants to do that. Oh, you dirty fudger. You dirty fudger. Give me a blue stone. Yo, blue stone, where you at? Goose ain't bad. Give me blue stone, blue stone. Damn it! Not in my hand. Mm. Crap. Alright, if they snap, we leave. If they snap, we leave. But we can see what they do here. Because we got Goose down, so they can't really play too much. Of course I say that. What do they need? Like, two power? I did get the blue stone. I asked for it, and I got it. Okay, so that's a four power Mysterio, so they're adding three power here. That's a tie, right? And they just have to get that as well. We can, however, blue Marvel and She-Hulk. And She-Hulk. And then we can also put down a Space Stone, which is kind of cool. Right, right? That's a lot of power there. It's going to add four here. They might not be counting for that. I should take three power away. Oh, they get hit Nova though, so that's two more there. Okay, so I'm five away. Guys, I think we boomer snap on this one because I'm not actually sure we win it. Right, and they might be. Okay, cool. cool. Cool, cool, cool. That was one of those scenarios where I wanted one in the hand versus two in the bush. You probably shouldn't do that very often, but I felt confident enough that we were going to win. But, I don't know, something in me said, if we snap, they leave, and then we don't have to risk it. We just get one cube, you know? Sometimes you have to listen to that. Okay, this is not the spot I want. Right, we want the other one. We want Crimson Cosmos. And then we blue stone goose into it. But I mean we don't have goose guys. We don't have goose, but Goose definitely not being optimal for this deck by any stretch of the imagination. But I love the kind of things that happen. Now here's something very interesting. Me and my opponent are now drawing from each other's decks, but we are both Thanos. So I think Soul Stone goes over here. And I think we just kind of Space Stone so that we can do a move. Now this being said, I don't remember if this draws from our deck or their deck. I think it draws from our deck? Not positive. All right, no, that definitely looked like it came from their hit deck. Okay, cool, 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 cool. They get the Mind Stone. And that specifically says from your deck. So they got two cards from their deck. But we know that they don't have Time Stone. Rickety Bridge. Yo, what's up, Rickety? Oh, there's the Blue Marvel. Now this is a little worrisome chat because they have my Super Scroll. Right? My Super Scroll hard counters the Dino and the Blue Marvel, so... We might be in some trouble with this. Oh, I should have time stoned. I definitely should have time stoned. 
Oh, interesting. Interesting. We're no longer drawing from each other's decks. And I get my Super Scroll. Okay. This is their blue Marvel. I could make it cost three? Is that good for us, chat? The next turn I have five energy, six energy. I could play it in another three. My only other three is Lockjaw, chat. I don't know if that's really that great. But we do get another Soul Stone out of that, though. Which might be great. Okay, I think we hold on to Blue Marvel. We don't want to play Blue Marvel yet. I do want the energy. This is a zero power card here, though, so I'm just going to destroy space and time. I think that's okay. This way, it opens up Rickety Bridge. Maybe he thinks we won't go there again. Oh, that's their Thanos. Okay, I did not realize that was their Thanos. So we actually discounted Thanos as well. Wow, this is this is good. This is good. So we can't play Dino here. We can't play Thanos here. We can't play She-Hulk here. We can't play any other cards here because of that stupid goose and the stupid big house. And that's my stupid goose. But what we can do is we can drop a time stone here and pass so that that's a free She-Hulk. Oh, we found another blue marvel and we get leeched. We get leeched. Okay. Okay, that's a little disappointing. I'm not going to lie about that. So our blue marvels do nothing. Thanos is still super cheap, all right? So Thanos is still a 411 that we cannot play. Let's see. Let's see. I mean, it's it's this, right? And it's this, and it's this, and we still win? Do we snap here? Do we boomer snap? I don't think I want to boomer stamp. If we boomer stamp, they leave, and I'm pretty confident we win. Because we're going to push enough power over here. We know they don't have blue marble because this is their blue marble, and we're showing them that that's their blue marble. Okay. So they play something here, absolutely. Do you want to make sure that this ties without a doubt? Oh, they had the other soul stone. That's hilarious. Ooh, Magneto. Well, fuck. That's a pure tie, though. Six to three and zero to negative three. Holy smokes. Balanced as all things should be. Thanos v. Thanos. Very nice. Legend of Gurk. In from the Daily Simpsons. Which episode was it today? Good to see you in chat. Speaking of seeing people in chat, Crush. Hey, are you guys friends? Oh, what's up, buddy? Maybe. And Gareth. Z, 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 Gareth. Hitting us up with that follow, friend. Appreciate that. Getting us closer to 1,250 followers. Last exit to Springfield, a.k.a. Dental Club. Girk, I'm not going to lie, like, you halfway make me want to change my stream schedule so that I can watch The Simpsons on Thursdays as well. That's just silly talk, right? Makes me want to do it, though. Wow, negative zone, Necrotia. Can this, guys, do you think this will be the negative one? Can we get three, two, one? That'd be pretty good. 30 minutes ago until now. Yep, every Thursday. Maybe I just start watching Simpsons on stream. Just in the corner. Listen to it in my ears. Alright, I'm going to save my reality stone. Death's Domain. Okay, it's a good thing we saved the reality stone. That's pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. Put the Green Goblin on negative zone for sure. Next turn, we've got Lockjaw into Mind Stone, which is pretty good. But ultimately, what I want, chat, is Lockjaw into Space Stone. 
and then we can move locked on to death's domain and do some really silly stuff really silly um i think we want to play it in mid this should get us all our stones as well which is pretty good what do they have Interesting. There's the She-Hulk. They get it out on time. That's nice for them. We haven't seen anything but She-Hulk. Does that mean it's a Shuri deck that didn't pull Shuri in time? A Death Wave death would have destroyed something by now. So it's not Death Wave. It's not Death Wave. I'm pretty sure it's Space Stone into Mind Stone. All right, I like this. Oh, I should have probably played Power Stone now that I think about it to buff Thanos. In case I wanted to play a six power card. Ooh, a six power card like Magneto to pull that Wong off. All right, wait, wait, wait. Let's think about this for a moment. Dr. Doom might be a little scary here. That puts 10 into each lane. So I'd be at 18. And 10. This would counter that just fine. We could also reality stone that, but I don't see the point. If we pull Wong here, that should be okay. That's two power, so it's only a negative two here. And we add in the 12, move the 10. I don't know how any of that math works, but I said a lot of numbers out loud and I still have a power stone that I can drop. Let's give this a shot. Remember the Lockjaw DD interaction? Oh, Death's Domain. Yeah, that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to actually Bluestone Lockjaw over to do some goofy stuff with that. Because it gets confused, right? It thinks that... It thinks that... The card is both in the graveyard and in the deck. I also completely freaking forgot that Lockjaw was in here. Like, com okay. Okay. So there's two there's two major problems with what I just did. I completely forgot that Lockjaw was in the middle lane, so I counted Magneto's power when I couldn't do that. Um, second thing is I forgot that Green Goblin is a three power card and would get pulled as well with Magneto. Um, we would have won, I think, by putting Thanos left, dropping. Reality Stone, Magneto right. I think that would have done better for us. We were definitely correct we wanted to Magneto the Wong away, and we definitely called the Doctor Doom. But what we did is completely misplay our side and not call anything that was going to happen on ours. Okay, that's okay. Live and learn, chat. Live and learn. Sometimes you got to take a few on the chin when you're sweaty on the ladder. All right. We have Goose, we have Mind Stone, we have Time Stone. That all seems A-OK. -okay. Mind Stone on turn one might be one of the best plays we can do. We find this Space Stone, okay. Ooh, Taj. Okay, we can't let Taj go unutilized uh we need that draw that's all there is to it yeah good deal good deal 
just get that draw in before the Cosmo comes down and bricks that. Okay, this isn't too bad actually, because we have Valkyrie and we have Blue Marvel. We get Blue Marvel down now. I don't know if that's actually any good though. I think what we actually want to do is we can move Blue Stone. Because Blue Stone rarely gets to move. It's always something else that we move. So we'll give Blue Stone a little bit of a happy move. Then I think we lay down the dino and we wait. Okay, we get waved. Very interesting. Wave's not bad. We could leech. Our opponent's shown a sunspot and wave. This feels like maybe we could see like a Doctor Doom and then an Odin come down. This feels like the wave Odin y deck. Which also means it might be like double arrow, but like arrow doesn't win them, so we're not worried about that. So I think it is leech here. Because we want to disable the Odin. Or the Doctor Doom. Or something. I'm going to snap here. As well before they see the leech come down. Because I don't think leech is going to be negative for us. I think leech is only going to be a positive thing. Like, I don't think they have Mary. I don't think they have Red Skull. Okay. They arrowed us. Now that is a little bit of a pain. It's a little bit of a pain. But I think we're okay. We can still put down Blue Marble. Because we still want to hold on to Valk. Now they have to contest right again or lose it. They top deck an Electro, so that is still frozen for them. They can only play one card. One card. We have priority, so Valkyrie is no longer useful to us. Well, it would take two points off Lizard and one point on Electro. That's still minus one point, and it brings us up by two points here. So that's a three difference. Okay, they left. They left. Yo, who's the 86? Good to see you in chat. Perfect rework. Interesting. What's my opinion on remastering SNES tunes? Um, I mean, I guess it depends on... Your quotation marks there. Uh, like people hunt down the original samples, use and recreate the original music files. Someone's basically remade the entire DKC2 to a T. Okay, so like hunting down the original samples and then recreating the original music. I, I mean, it's all right. So that, that guy that just played, that was probably PPF. And what he does is he takes the, he plays all the instruments. So it's not like he takes the original song sample files and then like enhances them and like changes the audio layout and updates them he just takes like the original music and literally replays it so yeah not the same thing so yeah um and it just reminded you as far as like grabbing the old ones i mean i guess it's okay it's not it's not bad it's okay um me personally i'd probably just the the super nintendo music was so well in and of itself even with the 16-bit-esque era tone to it. So I think that if you're going to remaster it, just take it a step further, put your spin on it, put a little bit of your own flair into it, change it up a little bit, you know? Um, that, that's kind of what I feel like it.
Who's he? He's going, you're going to say a 0-3. If you're winning this lane, at the end of turn 5, remove the abilities of the cards on your opponent's hand. Um, huge rework. Huge rework. Very interesting. Very interesting. I, that's a little complicated, Hoosie, even to like to react to, to be honest, because it, it feels, I know it's not, right? It's still very similar, because it's still remove abilities, but interesting. And is it ongoing, Hoosie? Is that an ongoing card, or is it just pure text? Oh, restoration. Okay, well, restoration, I guess if you say it that way. I don't know. It's not bad. Like I said, Girk, it's not bad. Definitely throw some links. If you don't mind, throw them in the Discord because that's just easier for me to, like, keep up with them and look at them again two, three days later. If cards are non-keyword, that makes sense. Every if card in the game is a non-keyword. Marble Lips, you climbing? I love scroll, Marble Lips. I love scroll. So good. It's absolutely amazing. So it'd be text only. It would be there. You could lay it down on turn five still. And lay down something else. I think it might be worse, Susie. Like, it does limit it to only affect the turn six, but you can still lay it down on turn five for free, so your opponent's not going to know it's coming. And now you also get to play a turn five card. So you get, you get three power for free, and the condition is that you have to be winning, which on turn five, you've probably got a power card to be able to be winning. It, it, it makes it feel like it's more consistent, but it does leave it at turn six disruption only. So, but I, I don't know. I, let me put it this way. I'm scared of that. I'm scared of that change. But yeah, I love scroll. Marvel Lips, I love scroll. It's either a dead card or it pops off like a tight. And I'm okay with that. I'm okay with it being one or the two. Like, look at that. Now we got a Wong in our lockjaw lane where we're going to play all of our freaking stones. Holy smokes. Yeah, the superior wasp leech. Yeah, that's another thing. It would be like a superior wasp. Yeah, you can't have a zero a zero cost card that has more than one power. I didn't even think about that comparison. Unless it's literally got like a limitation on it as well, kind of like Ebony Maw does. And now we're we're really um we're really doing some stuff. Allows for counters from Arrow and Juggernaut. I mean, I guess, I guess. 1-3 might be a little bit better. Maybe even just a 1-2. But yeah, the, the zero, the zero power bit, right? There's only two, not power, two zero costs in the game. Yellow Jacket, which in order to do two, it has an, a negative on reveal effect. And then Wasp, which is just one power. 1-3 might be a little bit better. I think that was a mistake. I think my opponent just made a big mistake. I'm trying to decide when the mistake should be punished. Is it this turn? I think it has to be this turn. We could also punish it next turn. What are they going for here? Let's punish it next turn. I think the key is to punish it next turn. 
So we punish it with Magneto chat. No, we don't. Shit. We should have played... Well, they had priority, so it didn't matter. Magneto doesn't matter now either. We can move Lockjaw over here. We put Dino over here. And then we could feed Lockjaw. Yeah, it gives you time to contest the lane and you know it's coming if it comes up early for Lockjaw. That's true. I almost like giving it the Ebony Mar treatment as well, but it's um it's a lot of text on a card. And Ma is kinda unique. Valk left a dino mid. Let me take a look at that. Doesn't Dino Mid hurt us? Oh no, Dino Mid probably helps us, right? Hmm, Chrome, that's a really good I actually don't even think it's Valk left. I think it's Valk mid. Valk mid takes care of that. And then we shuffle these guys. Actually, I'm kind of, I'm kind of, I'm kind of worrisome on this now. That's it, right? We win? Oh no, we need Power Stone? We needed Power Stone to stay on the board? I didn't even know that we were in that situation for Power Stone. Oh my god, we needed Power Stone to stay on the board. Oh, Gurk, I don't actually have a Music Links channel. I just wanted it in the Discord, that way, like, I would have the links in the future when I'm- when I've got a chance to listen to the music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's more that I wasn't counting what stones I had played. Um, yeah, general works. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Cruel Master. Oh, dang, really sweaty climbing with Thanos? Yeah, dude. We ain't fucking around. If you can't beat them, join them. That's what I say. Good to see you in chat, by the way. It, it wasn't so much that I forgot that it's onboarding. Onboarding. Ongoing. Jesus Christ, work just leaked through. Um... It was that I didn't count how many cubes we had. Not cubes, stones. I didn't count how many stones we had played. I didn't know how many stones we had played. Yeah, I pumped that one. I pumped that one good. All right, does that bring us down from where we started? Shit. Shit, 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 shit. That one was perfectly uh, winnable. Uh oh, redeeming random. Astronaut voice, very interesting. I don't think the background effects come through, but it looks like I have full oxygen and intercom, and we are out in space. Um, fuck it, fuck it. <laughs> Lamentas and that's the hand we have? That's just not even worth the time to play. You don't believe me? I am confident that I'm going to lose that. <laughs> Alright, one cube. One cube. That's okay. Alright, I think, I think having this unopened box here, these 30 Sentinel boosters and that red dot, that's hurting our RNG a little bit. So. One small... Step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Didn't he also, he, he messed that up. He verbal typoed that phrase. What he actually said is not the quote that we all remember. Because the winners write history books. Miniaturized lab. Do I think Thanos is going to get nerfed soon? You don't know if you should pin Galactus or Thanos. 
Um, Karina, good to see you in chat. My thoughts are Thanos. I think Thanos might get reworked soon. This is a freaking negative deck. I think the stones are going to get touched. That's what I think. I think the stones get touched. So, like, I think Reality Stone might be a basic, normal kind of nerf to it. Like, they might make it a 2 cost. A 2-1. I think that's A-OK, -okay, honestly. Like, a Location Changer is really powerful. People people sleep on Location Changers. Um, whereas other things, like the, the Green Stone, I think that one's... Um, the energy stone, that's what they call it, right? Stone of energy. They might rework that one. Where in, they leave it the same cost, the same power, but maybe they make it a symmetrical effect where your opponent also gets an energy. So I think there's going to be some, some tweaks and some reworks, and I think they're going to happen at the stones. I think some stones will get different power and energy adjustments, and others may actually be fully reworked. As far as that being soon, I actually think the Mad Titan is too complicated of a card and it being a big bad, like, I think it's going to take them a while to get a change to Thanos. I think we'll see a change to Leech before we see a thing, change to Thanos. Everyone hates on Space Stone. All right, like I don't want Space Stone to be reworked. I want Space Stone to like change with the numbers. I love this effect. I want to see this effect on another card. If it becomes like a one zero or a two one to make it a little bit harder to feed it to Locked Off, for instance, I'm fine with that. But this is a really cool effect, and I want to see the Scarlet Witch version of Space Stone. Iron Man. I knew it. Where's my Super Scroll? Where is my Super Scroll? Yo, Boat. Hi, my name is Boat Times, and I'm saying hello to James. Also, chat. Hi. Yo, Boat. Good to see you in chat. Welcome in, welcome in. Yeah, it's the strongest move card in the game, sadly. I can kind of, I can kind of agree with that. Like, this is just a really good effect. And move needs this effect. IMO. Like, move needs this effect to exist for them. I have fallen for the leech. But it's the Dan Hip leech boat, right? It's the happy, good-looking leech, so it makes it okay. But yeah, no, I... I'm sweaty as they come right now, bud. So sweaty. If you can't beat them, join them. Yeah, the problem is, what do I do besides scroll? Because his hawk's... My hawk's not as good as his, right? He snapped me because I was tanking? Alright, I'm not going to let that run me away. Okay, another scroll? Oh no, it gets hot. Okay. Yeah, I lose that. Mystique being able to fit underneath Goose was kind of bad for us. Maybe scroll, Super Scroll should have gone there. That wouldn't have changed anything. And they top death this Mystique too. Top deck that mystique.
What was my other plays? Space Stone over here wouldn't have helped enough. Magneto, I could have pulled Hawk off of here, but then I still lose over here. Yeah, we did not have a winning play, even in hindsight. Okay, 72.7. We're going to have to pull ourselves out of here. It is a surefire way to climb right now, Boat. But really, like, I don't know. Like, there, we leached them, but we still lost. Like, I, I don't have the problem with leech that everyone else has. Like, I understand it. I see what people are talking about. Don't get me wrong. I think I think it feels bad to get leached and to lose your combo, 100%. But it always feels like when I the games that leech happen, like they feel less impactful. Leech feels less impactful to me than unless he comes out early from Lockjaw, then he's just fucking dope and he's nutty as shit, 100%. I like a lot more symmetry level. I like a lot more symmetry in the idea of Thanos with some of these being like soul stone, of course, can't be symmetrical. That doesn't make sense. But like energy stone, move stone, all of those being more symmetrical. I kind of like that. It feels OK. Yeah, that's the biggest problem Gert, is that there's very little to no interactivity for leech. Like, you can't play around Leech. What are you going to do? Perfectly predict where they're going to play Leech and block it with Cosmo? It just doesn't happen. Yo, Gooey. Good to see you in chat, bud. How you doing? How you doing? Yeah. The problem is, is that the poker element, the snapping element, makes you want to hide uh, power on turn six. So it, it, you know, Leech really counters that aspect of the game, too. Yeah, the, the, the stones are overtuned. And Leech is, he's just, Leech is not healthy for the psychology of the game. He's very low interaction. Um, he feels bad when it happens against you in a very big way. Like, it feels extremely bad to get Leech. Hmm. I want blue stone. But I'm not going to get blue stone. I'm going to pass. See if I can't get any She Hulk benefit here. You dirty fuck. Okay, that's fine. It hit Leech. That actually might not be fine. Like, leeching them might be really important because they might be. Whatchamacallit? Hella. Alright, we'll see how it is. Yeah, Leech on Curve's not the huge issue, right? When it's coming out early, it feels really bad. For sure, level. For sure. Well, that just hurt me. That did nothing but hurt me. Last money, D money. Uh, last night, D money rage quit because of constantly getting leached. It was happening like every game. Yeah, that's pretty rough. Cheer for that leech being discarded. Go for it, both times. I'm down for it. Yo, just playing awful streams. Good to see you in. Welcome in. Uh, always down to see something cool, my friend. Always down to see something cool. Hell yeah, now we got business. Just plain awful streams. Thank you so much for your prime gaming. Really appreciate you, man. Um, enjoy those sick ass uh, Micho emotes. Boat times coming in with the Alice AI. Uh, 
It says it's still discount, but I don't actually think that's a discount anymore. I think, uh, I think this is just what Alice AI calls now. And I forgot to change the title when I changed the But yeah, I did a little bit of tweaking with all of the different voice modifications and the, uh, sound effects bits that we had, and, and we lose, we lose. We were off by two right there on that lane. And it was literally just like the swarm, the swarm pushed them over there. Oh, well, what a shame, what a shame. Lost eight cubes. This is, this is sad stuff, and is Alice is a little depressed on this. And the sound they wouldn't work. Anyway, we gonna start retreating. I think we're missing. I think we're missing some stuff. I think I'm missing a couple of things. Yeah, it can be pretty effective on five. Maybe a couple of points of power. Maybe make him like Nakia. Maybe give him the wave treatment. There's a lot of different ways that I've seen people discuss Leech and potential reworks, and changes, nerfs, and things of that nature. They'll do something. I think they're going to do something with them for sure. Yeah. Yeah. I actually wasn't in that beta meta GUI when it was a lot of Polaris and Okaya and Nakia. Uh, that was before, like, Nakia got buffed. Or, I mean, nerfed. So, yeah, it was... I, I came in right after that. Like, Nakia would do the entire hand. It would buff your entire hand of cards. And they they brought her down to do two randoms. And then they changed it again to put two last. The two last ones. So, yeah, like, Nakia Swarm, disgusting. Just absolutely some of the most disgusting shit on the internet. But, um, so, yeah, they might. I really think the Nakia change, it's, like, in line with what they kind of did during beta. It's not that crazy. All right, Chad, I'm going to take a break. I'm going to take a little bit of a break. We just lost eight cubes. Um, so a little bit of tilt off that. So I'm going to take a break. I'm going to get some water. I'm going to use the restroom. Uh, while we're at break, we will take a quick ad break just to be able to turn off the pre-rolls as much as we can. I uh, really appreciate you guys being here. I know the stream tonight may feel a little bit different, but I'm just kind of Trying to keep my energy focused on the sweaty cloud. Keep that kind of level mindset. And see if I can't take it in. Uh, be honest. I am suffering a little bit from that cube. Kind of just like, well, screw you, dude. I'm going to win this. And then we're losing by one or two power points. So we're going to have to kind of bring it in. Focus it up. Make sure that we're retreating. Um, and, and kind of get rid of this bad habit that we have of wanting to see that turn six play out. Uh, get a galaxy beverage. Absolutely, Metal Tiger, for sure. Galaxy beverage for a galaxy brain. Uh, thank you, Gooey. We'll see about it. All right, chat. We will be uh, right back.
Welcome back, everybody out there in TV land. And thank you for sticking through our BRB screen. We're back with another sweaty climb. It's the beginning of the Marvel Snap season. You know how it is around here. No fun till infinite. So we went ahead, we pulled out the Thanos, we pulled out the leech, got ourselves a galaxy beverage, all right? And we are gonna see about climbing that ladder. We've fallen, we've fallen, Chad. We've fallen off the ladder a little bit while on stream. Um, not gonna lie, about 2 a.m., real good climbing time. I don't know quite why, but sometimes 2 a.m. feels like the right time to climb. Welcome in, welcome in. Let's see here. Ooh, just plain awful stream. Showing off those beautiful galaxy hearts. Let's get over here, jump into Snap, get a Micho in our lap. And we'll see about pulling back up out of this nosedive a little bit. We gotta start retreating, chat. We just have to start retreating. I like the idea of playing change an arrow to pull cards in the order that they're played. I think that's a, a pretty good move, honestly. It's um, It allows for a little bit more play around Arrow. Kind of gives you back that kind of leech vibe where, you know, you really had to play a specific order. Not leech, leader. You had to play your cards in a specific order to play around leader, and we don't have that. All right, this is kind of cool. This is probably a Galactus deck. Who else runs Warlock other than Galactus, right? So I actually think we're going to do this, this, and this. And the problem is we lose to wait. We're going to lose to wait, but let's find out. If this is wave, we probably lose... It's not wave. It's not wave. So now the Mind Stone blocks that from Galactus. And we just move Goose right on over here to block that lane from Galactus. Um, Quinjet, very good card for us. Lockjaw, very good call card for us. And I think we made the right play here. The only thing we lost to was wave last time. There's the Electro, allows them to get ready to Galactus, but the only place they can play Galactus is no good for them. All right, they didn't retreat. They didn't retreat. Now we do have Leech, but what are we trying to Leech? They're only gonna play one card anyway, right? Let's see, I, I gotta think about this for a second. We could always play Dino. We could play Dino next turn as well. They snapped me, which means that they've got a card that they do enjoy, right? So I think for that reason alone, we are gonna leech it. They've got some kind of plan, some way to win this. So we're gonna fight that backwards. I don't think we need priority, but I do like getting the card draw. Would you uh, think moving at the end of turn would also be nice because your on reveals go off at the location? Oh, I missed that part level. Yeah, maybe until the end of turn might be nice. It means you can no longer use arrow to get around Zolas. All right, let's see how this looks. Leached them twice. Double leached. Okay, now I feel a little bit rude. Oh, I see. It was a Kang play. We got a Kang player here. So I guess they were trying to scare us away with their snap. I don't see any reason to really change it up. I mean, we could, I guess we can time stone first, but yeah, Victory. just to change the RNG a bit. But yeah, they were just trying to bluff us out with Kang. All right, 
Very nice. Very nice. Okay, that's two two cubes. Two cubes. Doctor Strange PhD. It's his full time job. Playing Quinjet on an unrevealed location scares me a little bit. It's a little bit too important of a card, but we just literally cannot play it at Hellfire Club. Not the greatest hand that we've got going for us. Followed up with not the greatest hand we've got going for us. We might be able to use She-Hulk on Asgard next turn. Get those draws. That'd put us at five cards, six, seven. I think we still get a draw maximum if we do that. Enough said, Bub. I do think we go ahead and play the Mind Stone. I know it draws, but you will get the stones in our hand. Is that good? Let's see what happens. All right, Killmonger comes out. So Mind Stone, we did keep the discount for Mind Stone. Very interesting set of plays here. I'm gonna put Dino left. Hmm. Yeah. Let's put Dino left. I don't think we snap here. I think we exit on a snap. All right. There's a Nimrod. So there's plus five power into each lane. Plus maybe a Zola. Leech might have been the right move. So if they just destroy this, that's five, that's 13. If they Zola it, then that's 10, that's 10. So let's assume this is like at 20. I need to put like 11 power. This could be five power, and then this would be five power, but that's not enough. We want like 11. I think it is just Thanos. I think it's just Thanos mid. All right. We can do this. There's no snaps involved yet. Mm, they retreated. Very interesting. Maybe they didn't find the Zola. They also use the retreat later option. Trying to save a cube? That's a smart move, for sure. Okay, this looks really good for us. Oh, this looks really good for us. They snapped us back. They did not appreciate the turn one snap, but I'm feeling pretty good about this. Oh, looks like we might be up against a Shuri deck. So that's probably zero into Ebony Maw. If I had to guess, I'd say that's zero into Maw. We have the Valkyrie. That's really good for us. Valkyrie and Soulstone could win us a lane on its own. Oh, and ongoing effects are doubled on the right side. That's great. So Dream Dimension is probably our Lockjaw lane if we find Lockjaw. I think we can go ahead and lay down a Time Stone. That's going to give us draw and energy. Soul Stone, right. Ah, just want to hold on to the Soul Stone to play with Valkyrie for chance. Hmm. I don't think we actually do want to do that. I think that's what we want to do. Okay. Let's see how this looks out for us. They zeroed their Cosmo. 
very, very interesting play there. Very interesting. A bot? Hmm, I don't know about that. The turn one snapback makes me think it's a human play. I think we get rid of Dream Dimension. That's not going to do us any good. Looks like we have the Mad Titan online. One, two, three, four, five, six stones. So we do have the Mad Titan online. That's really good for us. Yeah, yeah, I was thinking that too, Gooey. Scroll and Sentinel, just not the greatest thing right now. Yeah, we're going to fill left with the Space Stone, then we can move out. Uh, it looks pretty good because we're going to power stone Thanos to win mid, I think. And as long as Green Goblin doesn't go left, we're probably okay. Nice. Got rid of the Cosmo. We got 11 power on them here. This should be okay, I think. For eight cubes. Could have had a Cosmo as well, yeah. I've done that before, Gooey. Used the scroll as a Cosmo. It feels good. Alright, I think we're okay here. I don't think that we... There, yep, okay. Good, 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 good. That does it. Arrow? Still does it? Mm-hmm. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Eight cubes. Eight cubes. All right, that's good. Now we're kind of getting back to where we were before, I think. Getting a little bit closer to where we were before. Still net negative for the stream, but I'm feeling it. We can get there. All right, we got Locked Dog, we got Mind Stone, we got Reality Stone. Thank you for the applause, Gooey. Appreciate you. Uh, Micho, do not get on the table. All right, kitty cat. You're blocking the Mind Stone. Folks can't see it, Micho. Where'd this rock come from? From Korg? We really pulled the rock right off the top like that. It's a little disappointing. Hmm. Let's avoid Bifrost going off. Put Soul Stone down here. 
Hopefully this is a good lock guard lane here on right. Hmm, okay, not a bad you guys friends? lane at all. Maybe. Rubbin' Stubbs, thank you, friend, for that follow. Getting us one step closer to our mysterious well 150 follower goal. Now, what's going to happen when we hit 1,250 followers? Well, that's a mystery. But hey, it's been absolutely a pleasure, and we're going to figure out what we do when we get there. First, we got to climb this sweaty ladder. And I kind of think Green Goblin's the way to go. All right, we're still winning all of the lanes just as we want. Lockjaw over here. I think uh, I think I want to move Lockjaw to right. Oh yeah, pull the Devil Dino out over here. That's not bad. That's not bad. Oh, they picked up. Ooh, nasty, nasty. They're gonna send that Green Goblin back over at us. Hmm. <laughs> We're going to leech him. We're going to leech him. We got She-Hulk and Thanos in our deck. We blocked the Green Goblin from coming back. That feels really good. We do take another Widow's Bite, unfortunately. But we are definitely going to win the Vault here. There's no questions asked. We get the leech off. Super Scroll comes in, doesn't really pick up much. Widow's Bite goes out, picks up the leech again. Not bad, not bad. Now we have priority. I think all we do here is play Magneto, right? That's going to leave two power on Devil Dino. Leaving the Widow's Bite in our hand. Um, it also pulls the Green Goblin over, maybe? Maybe? Angela's another four power. So that's at 13. That means they still have to put in like 15 power to reach 28. Why bite left? I don't like bite left. Bite left is is one less power on dino. It's it's not free power. It costs us two power on dino. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got you though, Goody. I got you. I got you. No problem. Alright, they left. I think they had left regardless. I think they retreat for later and then they said snap question mark, trying to like bluff us or something. Just keeping me on my toes. There you go, Gooey. There you go. Tinker's Workshop. Okay. Not bad. Not bad at all. Is this snappable already on turn one? I think it is. I honestly think this is snappable turn one because we're getting free draw for the rest of the turn. We've just got a draw machine going. And still got a bit of Nid the Villier on the brain. <laughs> uh, I feel it. I feel it. What's our, what's the Discord looking like? Hmm. 
Ooh, Snap Clash running tournaments. Very nice, very nice. Just checking on the Snap Clash. I did see they posted a Twitter update. Looks like Snap.fans doing an invitational, guys. Oh, yes. Yeah, we'll take a look at that in just a moment here. All right, we do need the draw here, I think. Yeah, both are very gasm worthy. Wow. Which lane do they try to put Shuri in, chat? Is it left or right? I think they Shuri left, because you're not supposed to play into Strange Academy. It's too much RNG. All right, all right, all right. Got him. This is a good example where we do not play Leech. We could do this, though. Get that card draw. A little extra power on the vault just in case. And we'll play Leech into... Cosmo. We don't want to leech them, so it's fine. Ooh, Necroshaw is a little bit of a pain there. Ooh, scroll. Getting the red skull. Maybe we did want... Well, it wouldn't have gone off that turn, right? They leave. They left. We got them. They left. All right, yeah, so chat, check this out. Collect our rewards real quick. Lockjaw, good boy getting his boosters. Check this out, chat. Snap Class Tournaments. More details to come, but we're hyped for the 2023 Snap Fan Invitational. So join our Discord. It's in the bio of the uh, Twitter page. Uh, to learn more as news comes and participate in daily tournaments. So Battle Arena, in collaboration with Snap.Fan and, oh my goodness, uh, and Snap Tournaments, we bring to you the 2023 Snap.Fan Invitational. This is set to be the most competitive stage in all of Marvel Snap. You may earn invites to this event through competing in affiliated tournaments. So yeah, it looks, um, let me make this picture bigger. Apparently not. I just have to like make the picture bigger. So yeah, let's see here. 128 player tournament looks like there's 25 28 invites out there that are to be decided snap clash looks like they've got 20 invites snap.fan snap top four tournament winners for a total of 40 invites 
the top 10 of the year, and then there are 30 invites over here. This is insane, guys. This is absolutely nuts. 128 player invitational. That is that is some hype stuff. So yeah, if you guys if you guys like the tournament scene, keep an eye out on all those collaborative uh, communities and see about snagging yourself one of those 128 seats at the tournament. You know I'm going to be looking for it. Yeah, Karina, you're falling off the ladder too. Maybe not a good time to climb. We we found our we we found our group back after taking a short break. We've almost climbed back up to where we started the ladder. At. Uh, running Quinjet, but they're not they're not Thanos, so they're probably a Dino deck, right? Maybe some agents going on here. In that case, I'm not so sure it's going to work out. Boat Times Rateeman Auto-Tuned. Oh my goodness, Boat Times just loves a little bit of singing. Um, Goose is a good boy, but um, yeah, actually, I think Goose down on Shuri's Lab is really good, you know? You know I do. All right, man, you got yourself a mute, bud. Um, let's see here. We got a little lockjaw action. Mindscape, you know, we're getting rid of Mindscape. We ain't got no time for that shit. There's the Sentinel. You knew that they were going to be playing it. You knew it was some kind of dino deck. There is the Agent 13. You knew it was some kind of dino deck. I think Mindscape is worse for him than you, I think. I don't know, maybe, maybe. We'll have to, we're not gonna, we're not gonna reality stone it right off the bat. That's for sure. That is for sure. We will see about doing something like this. We hold reality stone. Yeah, maybe not since we're Thanos, but I, I can feel you, right? Like, seeing Mindscape, if they're running Dino, can't be good for them. Can't be good for them. We do not have our Quinjet down, though. They do have their Quinjet down. So that's that's also a reason why Mindscape might not be good for us. Uh, we found our Quinjet. Interesting, interesting. There's our Space Stone. Interesting. Okay, okay. Alright, I do think... Perfect. Oh, I can't fit that in there. All right, let me think about this for a second. Yep, that's what I'm thinking, Gooey. She-Hulk to get underneath Shuri's lab is really important here. So we have to save at least three energy. So what we could do is we could also play Quinjet. We cannot play scroll, but we can lay down Quinjet. And then that's going to allow She-Hulk to be two cost. No, 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 no. We're not laying down Quinjet. We're not laying down Quinjet. I think She-Hulk at a one is better. Okay, now that's painful. That's painful. She-Hulk no longer wins that. Or Sinister. Interesting, interesting. Oh, we get an extra Time Stone, though? Hmm. So, yeah, 20 power here doesn't quite get us, does it? No, it does, as long as they don't play there. That's pretty good, actually. Okay, okay. Valk, right? Yeah, probably. At least to tie it. Then we have four to their six. We lose the tiebreaker then. If they play into Bar Sinister. Yeah, yeah. So we could lose the tiebreaker. Dino is one, two, three, four, five, thirteen. 
I think it's I think it's Dino. Dino for the 13. Because they were so tilted at us thinking about our early turns that they emoted us hello, they are too blind to see the She-Hulk move. I didn't see the fucking Dino move. Oof. 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 And I pill Cosby. I was blind to the lockjaw yet again. Dino mid would have won that. Dino mid would have won that. Blind to the lockjaw again. Played it in the wrong lane. Misplayed for eight cubes. We should have just thrown Dino down in mid. Should have just thrown Dino down in mid. Oof, oof, oof. Oof, oof, oof. Good to see you in chat, Cosby. Token. All right, token. Silver couch, sir. I think I need the draw. Yeah, uh, pull three climb can be very rough, slash. For sure. Victory. Okay, whatever. They saw Thanos and they left. They did not like to play against Thanos. I guess we'll take that. Come on, we, we can get back to 73. We started at 73.7, chat. We've got to end a cube net positive. We got to do it. If we're being sweaty, we got we to gotta end positive. Yeah, Dino's a very strong deck in general, just especially in, in the pool three climb, but just kind of in general anyway, Dino's a very strong deck. Um... And he stays consistent. Like, you get him pretty early in your collection, and then, like, he just stays consistently strong. That prevents me from having a lockjaw lane. Alright, I think we can drop the She-Hulk down on Kiln. Yeah, no batching at all, right? Okay, they have a lockjaw lane. They also have the apality the apality. They have the apality to leech us. Doesn't look like we got leeched unless it comes out of their deck. Nope, there it is. At least it's the cute leech. All right. At least it's the cute leech. Running Chavez. Okay. Fuck, they got their dino too. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Yo, unique. Good to see you in chat, bud. Yeah, we're just trying to be as sweaty as we can, to be honest with you. We're just as sweaty as we can get. And that includes playing Thanos. 11 here is going to be 42, so we'll tie. That's not going to be good enough. We do have this on lock unless they pass. We actually scared of a full soak. They never full soak, right? They don't full soak. But we don't win nid. We do not win Nid. We have to leave this one, chat. We don't win this one. Big part of the sweaty climb is to make sure, make sure you're retreating when you when you got a slim chance to win. Only losing one cube. Not like the eight we lost earlier because I massively misplayed. Jurassic Pat. Hmm, interesting name. Death's Domain. Okay, okay. Do we need the draw this early? I don't think we need the draw this early. I think the surprise of the location change is more beneficial for us during turn six 
than it is to draw this early. Especially when we see something like Quinjet pop out. Uh, so we're going to slide Goose over into the right. Because there's a couple of locations that Goose can just win on her own. Especially if we get her in before uh, the location switches over. Set, mm, okay, we're up against a destroy deck and they have Death's Domain. So maybe Reality Stone is really important right now. Um, unfortunately, I think we're just putting down Lockjaw, get him online. So there's the Electro, they're ramping up, they're getting rid of the ongoing. We did not have Pryo, so we were not changing Death's Domain in time, but now we do have Pryo, but Death's Domain does not need to be changed, so we still have our Reality Stone to think about. Hmm. Hmm. All right, we got to start cycling. We got to start drawing cards. Gets rid of Ned Valir. I don't think that's a bad thing. There's a good chance they might have Null or Venom, both of which Ned Valir is very good with. Eternity range after turn three, so we're not going to see that go off. We get waved. Okay. Okay, wave is interesting. We could Magneto. Magneto would pull Wave, at least. Thanos is too big at the... Not big enough at the moment. We don't have enough stones played. They snap us. Which normally means Galactus, right? Is this a Galactus deck? Does that snap mean Galactus? I think that snap means Galactus, chat. I think when they snapped right there, they were telling us Galactus. They have the Electro Ramp. They also waved. Now I'm not thinking it's Galactus because why would you wave and Electro Ramp? Doesn't seem like that was necessary, but maybe they top decked the wave. But I think if this is Galactus, we just win. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Throw 12 power back in our deck? Yeah. All right, all right. Bye. Have a beautiful time. All right, there we go. There we go. Let's see if we can't find another Galactus player or two. That was Jurassic Pat, was that his name? I think that's who we just fought. Fisk Tower. Hmm. Because they would have no follow-up. Probably would have. Probably would have. But I guess we are still susceptible to top decks in that scenario. Alright, we're going to put it down power. Yeah, I really like Magneto. I think, honestly, no joke, I think if they if they change Arrow, the next card people are going to start, like, recognizing to be super powerful is going to be Magneto. Next turn, we'd have four. Four's not that great. I'd rather have five, so we just Reality Stone for now. Brand Daily new. Bugle. Green Goblin. Oh, no. Oh no, chat. They're gonna goblin us. We're gonna get goblin. Be kind of funny if they played. Yep, they did. Yep. There it was. You know, what's funny about this is that I have. Soul Stone. I have the Almighty Soul Stone, so your Green Goblin is more negative than my Green Goblin. Oh, Shuri. How do we get around Shuri? How do we ever get around Shuri with this deck? And is it even possible to, like, play any card to beat a Shuri deck? 
uh, I don't know. We'll have to we'll have to see what kind of tech cards we might be able to find. Possible to learn this power. Opponent snapped. I'm gonna pass. She hulks free. Vision, oh my god. Vision. Oh, that's rough. That's rough, chat. That's rough. Do they move the vision? Do they move the vision? I also have priority. That's okay, Cosmo. Priority actually doesn't matter here. I kind of want a Valkyrie left. I kind of want a Valkyrie left. Please move Vision. They moved Vision. They moved Vision. They moved Vision. <laughs> oh, GG Blunts. GG Blunts. Get fucked, Bozo. Oh, 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 oh. Zola. Zola. Nice Zola. It did scare a little bit. A little bit. But not enough. Not enough. Whew, 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 whew. Gosh, I hate Vision so much. I really do. That mind game. I was scared of Taskmaster. I was like, oh, we're not going to hit Taskmaster. But we got there. We got there. I guess that did. That ultimately, I guess the question there was, do they have Taskmaster or do they have Zola? Because if it was Taskmaster, they would have left it left. But with it being Zola, they had to move it right. That was, that was some spicy stuff. Cube Donator? Hello. Should we snap the Cube Donator? Such a bad idea, by the way. Such a bad idea. Howard the Duck. That's true. It's true. I'm actually hey, are you guys friends? that card. Maybe. Wampa One hitting us up with that follow. Thank you, friend. Getting us one step closer to that 1,250 mysterious follower goal. And the bozo sound clip hooked you. <laughs> nice, nice. Um, I forget. I think. I think bozo is also just the command. Yeah, yeah. It's not locked behind VIP. So if you guys want to use Get bozo, bozo, you got a channel command for it there, Wampa One. It comes from a really hilarious YouTube video. If you search YouTube for Angry Kyle, you'll find it. It is absolutely hilarious. <laughs> Gooey doesn't even know his own commands. It's not even a VIP one, Gooey. That one's just special for chat. Special for chat. Bozo show every day? 
What's the bozo show, the big one? The big O? Yeah, Gooey's got the hearts. Now that one is under VIP. Yes, Gooey. And I, I do plan to add more VIP commands. I don't know who Bozo is, the clown? I mean, it sounds familiar, but actually... I thought Bozo the clown was just like... Like it's an actual character from a show? Not just like a fairy tale type thing? Bozo the clown, fictional character. Oh, oh, fuck, this guy. Okay. Okay, 1966 Bozo the Clown. Okay. I, I, yep, I recognize this now. Yeah, 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 yeah. I didn't realize this was Bozo. Okay, chat, that was, I, I never need to look at those pictures again. That was, I, I don't even like dislike clowns or anything, but he is a creepy looking motherfucker. Oh, is this still say we have pets? Uh oh. I turned off pets, Gooey, because, um, I lost some subs, I think. Yeah, it didn't do anything, Gooey. That's my bad. That is my bad. Uh, I don't really actually know what I'm supposed to do here. To be honest with you. Maybe it's this? Uh, I don't want to give him a green goblin, do I? Bye. Thank you for making the decision for me. Escaped. Yeah, pets used to... I think I lost it. Like, I don't know if I turned it off or I completely lost it. Beer Pong came from Bozo Show? For reals? Okay. T-I-L? Yeah, I think maybe I accidentally deleted pets, Gooey, because I don't even see it, like, on the back end of my commands. As if it was maybe turned off or something. No, it just looks like it's straight up missing. Yep. Let me see here. Let me... Delete that out of VIP if it's not actually working. Since I don't actually have pets. I don't know what happened to it. Alright, 93.2. 93.2, we're still making some good retreats. Nothing to be worried about yet. Super flow, not bad, not bad. Be able to goose on turn one, I like it. And then with super flow, we're gonna have a leech on turn three. Is that too early for leech? Maybe not. Strange Academy pops up. Do I miss Shang or Arrow most with this list? Mm, Arrow. I think if I was to put one of those two in, I'd put Arrow in. Because Arrow can still feel good coming out of Lockjaw. Uh, Shang-Chi a lot of times does not feel good coming out of Lockjaw. Waved me? What a dick! I greenstoned! So I didn't have to worry about a wave. Asshole? I'm thinking so. I'm thinking it's Galactus. Which means they want us to kneel. So let's destroy any hope they have of a backup plan.
The big O, you beat Devil within you for the first time. Everyone died except the dog. Just beat Devil within me. Oh, I don't know that game. Okay, so it's not... It's not a problem. Do we have cryo? We don't have cryo. They have five and we just got rid of their junk. We're making Nimrod less powerful. So looking a little bit more like a destroyer out. Right? This feels a lot like destroyer here. I have not played until dawn. I think like devil within me, it sounds familiar, but I mean, that's also a pretty common phrase, right? I'm thinking full pass, honestly. Free She-Hulk. Sure, we lose to Arrow? But this way we know where the Destroyer comes down? I'm going to free pass. Free balling. Oh, interesting. All right, so they're definitely not playing Destroyer then, right? In theory, that wins against most stuff. <laughs> I mean, they obviously knew we had She-Hulk, right? They knew we had She-Hulk. Or Infinite. Maybe they thought it was Infinite. I felt kind of bad, too. We didn't even do that much. Yeah, we leached him, and we made Tim Rimrod tiny. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> it was a little rude. A little rude. A TV reality crew get invited to a mock castle based off of the serial killer H.H. H. Holmes. Is that devil within me? Oops. No, I do not want to install the Twitter app. Devil with in me the devil within me dark pictures wiki images oh i just used bing is it within me or inside me what did you actually say because i know what i've repeated which may not be in. you said within Yeah, this pulls up so many different things on just the Google search. I guess maybe if I say video game, might have a better chance. The Dark Pictures Anthology is a PS5 game. Okay. Wow, those are some impressive looking graphics. Very cool, very cool. Oh, is it 10 o'clock? Oh, it's 10 o'clock. Okay, Dan Hip Giganto. This is a very pretty goose. But I already have Pixel and Captain Marvel goose, so we'll save our gold. This is also an incredible looking angel. The duality of it, and Magneto up there. You got Mystique and Scarlet Wit. Like, this is just so beautiful, but. Who wants to spend that much gold on a uh, on an angel variant? Looks like Goose is on the Death Star. Yeah, I could see that. I could see that for sure. Sean is still pinned. Still pinned. Oh, what if we? 
What if we upgrade Lockjaw? Where are you at, Lockjaw? Oh, this is the wrong deck. This is my Shuri deck. We have no gold. We have no ink yet. Let's see if we can get one of those for Lockjaw. Get a couple boosters while we're at it. I mean, not boosters, tokens. Click, 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 click. Get a shiny logo for Lockjaw. Very nice, very nice. Tokens? Yes, tokens. We need those tokens. Some of the songs are a bit high. We can pop it down a little bit more. Yeah, using the um, the different headset here really kind of changed the the music balance that I had set up. The rivalry rivalry week bundle, absolutely, Debigo. Had tokens in it, bud. It had tokens in it. I gotta I gotta spend money on them tokens. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. 600 tokens. We like seeing those 600s. Those 600 tokens. That's right. That's right, Gooey. First edition badges don't just buy themselves. You got a well form. Two more. Two more for another box. Yo. That's nice. That's nice. We got our gold. We got our gold. I love it. And I love getting gold before ink because I like to leave ink at gray border, but gold I like to be at infinite border. So this is the perfect order, too. Yeah, Gooey. Willed it into existence. I appreciate that. If you buy it, you'll have enough for Master Mold on Tuesday. Ooh. There's also Token Tuesdays, apparently, a thing now for us to spend our money on. Pixel Swordmaster. Interesting, interesting. Do we sitting on zero golds? Oof. Oof, I've got a couple. I've got, um... So, She-Hulk is actually gold, believe it or not. Um... And, uh, I have Death Gold, which looks really good. Now we have a Lockjaw Gold, which we're about to get an infinite version of. Actually, I haven't looked at the boosters. We might not have the boosters to carry this all the way to the top. Yeah, we have not enough boosters to carry our Lockjaw Good Pupper all the way to the top. Unfortunate. Two inked Iron Mans, two Angela, both on the base. An inked Horley Kazar and an inked Momoko Mystique. I mean, those are some good inks. Already ink in Momoko. I have not done that yet. 400 credits. All right. Uh, but yeah, this... The She-Hulk's technically gold finish. But because the... The gold is only in this very small spot. It's like... This is like one of the coolest cards. Like, I love this card art. But God, is it bad for the gold finish. All right, let's jump into let's jump into another game. Let's see if we can't get back up to ninety three point seven, seventy three point seven. Holy smokes! I wish we were above ninety, seventy three point seven. Before we end stream, Thanos gold today. Oh, Cosby! I bet that looks so good. You get all of these guys gold finished too. Mwah. Beautiful, beautiful. Uh, we have Leech. What did we discard? What did they discard? They discarded Iceman. We discarded She-Hulk. 
Iceman might be bro too. I'm on time stone. Need to draw cards. Oh my goodness. The grainy footage captain looks so good. I have a feeling that it looks just that much better with ink though. I love the animation effect on that card. Think you've got him upgraded as far as you want him, Pill Cosby? Nice. Cool. So we win Death's Domain. Playing into an unknown location, we still win Death's Domain. I mean, I guess we just have to draw cards, right? Yo, play. I'm glad it wasn't armor mid too. Holy smoke, Gooey. Do not wish that evil on me, Ricky Bobby. Draw more important than anything in the world? I mean, draw is pretty important, right? Then we can always play one of those stones. One, two, three, four, five. We still have mind stone. We're not getting mind stone out. We literally just have stones. Mind stone's not even good, but dino's good, right? <laughs> it was a fantastic film. So good with the quotes, too. A lot of his films are very quotable. I'm not the biggest fan of what I'm doing, but we're going to try it. Leached. Okay. Well, our dino is no good. Luckily, we're drawing a bunch of cards here, so that's good news for us. Soul Stone. Into that. Put this over here for fun of it. Do we Boomer Snap? <laughs> I might need to make that one. If you don't chew big red... Fuck you! I might actually have to just watch that again, too. Do we boomer snap here? Because we win mid, right? Every day, all day, no matter what. Even if they spectrum, because it goes off first. But also, like, what does that matter? This motherfucker is seriously just running Leech in a fucking Mr. Negative Lizard Sentinel deck? People just throwing Leech into decks, not thinking that it makes... Not thinking about their synergies. Oh, fuck me. Sure, dude. GG's. What is your deck list? View similar decks on untapped GG. Showing two decks. It's just like Tempo Tech? Tempo with tech cards? That's the same thing, except this one runs... What's the difference between these two? Magneto versus She-Hulk. It's literally just good cards. Like, there's no synergy in this deck. It's just, get the card. Okay. Get the tech card that wins you the game. 
that's what that deck is. And that's okay. That's a, a perfectly fine and fun way to play the game if that's what you enjoy. Good cards I like, yeah. An old leader shell with Doom, yeah. Yeah, it's not bad. It's not a bad deck. It was just I didn't know what to expect out of it. It just kind of threw me off. Like this is, They literally just run Killmonger in that deck. Like, there's no fucking hood. It's just Killmonger to get around Squirrel Girl, to get around Raptor, to get around Central Park, and to destroy Thanos. I mean... That's fine. That's fine. Oh, reality stone for bar with no name. Uh -uh. Let's get some draw going. Zabu. I don't have any four drops in my deck. Besides Super Scroll. We could get Leech. Is this gooey jungle pets? I don't know, maybe. <laughs> Just grab that space stone right back. <laughs> that give me a chuckle. Um, I wouldn't do it. Nope. No, she don't love me like that. Oh my fucking god, that felt good. That felt good. Leech and Moon Girl is always a good thing. I'm pretty sure we just win because of Leech Moon Girl. This is five power. This is one, two, three, four, four. Five. Thirteen. This is strong. Wrong place, buddy. Oh, it's 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 leached anyway. I'm going to take the two cubes. I should have snapped probably two turns ago, honestly. But I kept holding out for it. Nah, we're snapping. We're contesting both the other lanes. We might only get one instead of two. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. That's okay. Maybe we could have just had the two cubes. Maybe we could have just had the two cubes. Okay. Okay.
Polaris is such a good card. Polaris is an insanely good card. Armor, okay. I'm going to guess it's Zola. Uh-oh, Gary. What's in your shop that you're about to spend that much gold on, dude? Arrow. Okay. I should have leached. Fifteen and eight. Twenty-three. But it's not actually that, right? It's seven. So eight and seven, 15. So we win with blue marvel left. Am I putting another two cubes on the line just because I think it's Zola? What else could it be? It feels like Zola. There's a variant looks uh, looks jank on on Snap Fan. That's a little sad. We should retreat, Crush. Okay. You're right, you're right. We literally only beat Zola. I just wanna know if they had Zola though. That's that's all, I just wanna know. I wanna know what their hand was. It's so hard. Like, that's the hardest thing to fight. And when you get to infinite, you don't have to have that constant struggle. I just want to know, what was your play? I need to draw that bad, honestly, at this point. I almost put blue stone into bar sinister because I was like, oh, I'll draw a bunch of cards and then I can just move them out of the way next turn. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Why did you not snap? Before laying down Green Goblin. If they would have snapped on turn three with Bar Sinister there, I would have filled it up. Except for the fact that I didn't have priority, so they would have filled it up. But I probably would have known to retreat. I probably wouldn't have. How many times have we retreat early on? I mean, I guess there's been a couple, but it's been like times where I was just like, no, no. Right? It wasn't times where I was 
actually looked at it. I'm going to pass because I have goose. It's in the Discord. Oh, this century. That's a really nice, that's a nice century for sure. Is this an art germ? I guess it doesn't say art germ. Okay, so like the shop needs to, the shop needs to be where you can click. Let's see here. If I if I click this window, yeah, you see my mouse right here. If if it's in the shop, you should be able to click the variant tag up here and see who the artist is. Because I mean, it looks like an art drum, doesn't it, Gibby? Does it say on Snap Dot Fan if it's an art drum? Sokovia. Magneto. All right, we're going to time stone because they're going to put like a carnage here, right? Deathlock. Okay, that's pretty close. Interesting. Pyong Jun Park. I don't know if that's connect pronunciation. I like his stuff then. It just reminds me of Art Germ. Art Germ is probably the one that goes like the most realistic super realism, you know? And this century one kind of reminds me of it just being super realism. Let's even this lane up, I think. Not quite sure why they passed, but we can go ahead and put the goblins down. Yeah. You're running out of destruction cards, right? That was what, Nova Carnage? No, She-Hulk? Okay, that's why you passed, wave. All right, so you're death waving. So they have a death. Which wins a lane. No matter where they play it. Opponent snapped. Yeah. That's cool. We haven't seen a whole lot of Death Wave. Escaped. I'm surprised that guy's able to climb. Death Wave seems to be really bad in this Leech meta. But, I mean, we have Leech in our deck. It beat us that time. I mean, we didn't draw Leech or Lock Jaw, so maybe bad draw. Mindstone one, that's not too bad. We don't have anything else, though. Oh, they're an infinite, too. We're up against an infinite player, chat. Get rid of Asgard. Lizard, okay. No, Luger to Fox is not going to snap us on that. Surprised that you won't, Lucrative Fox. Surprised that you won't.
Very cool. We brick him here. Because that Lockjaw just eats that Green Goblin out of the way. Thank you very much. So they cannot play here anymore. So now they're stuck playing on... And they still have fucking 16 power mid. That's a lot to get through. Good arrow. Good arrow. Space Stone's still in our deck, so we have not played Space Stone. Thanos is 13 power, though. That puts that at 15. Fifteen. That would be 16 out of tie. We need to beat it. Power Stone beats it. We'll put one extra power here. Can they get into Morag? Oh, yeah. Cosmo and Invisible Woman Lane. Very good slash. Very strong. Oh, Boomer snap them. Boomer snap them. I think we probably win this. They might have some small shit. Ah, oh, we just lost eight cubes. We just lost eight cubes. I'm not backing out. I'm not going to do it. Yeah, they got into Morag. Yeah, and they have the point differential on bar with no name. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna play a couple more crush, but I'm I am I am falling. I'm falling right now. Let's see about let's be about changing it up. What even is deck summoning? Oh, garbage. Hot garbage. The hottest of hot garbage. Or version of something big. Let's try let's try a little a little bit of Shuri. Right, try a little bit of Shuri before we end for the night. Because we are also kinda past our scheduled stream bit. I do love this game. Like I love like specifically the ladder climb. I know like I'm I'm battling right now with like getting sweaty on the ladder and trying to be on top of it and, and getting all the good cubes and all of that fun stuff. And I'm I'm falling a little bit, right? We are a rank and a half down from where we started three hours ago. But I enjoy it. Like there's really a difference here. There's a difference in, in just the, the straight up like the engagement factor of um, yeah, this is fine. But like, it, it, I don't know, being in infinite and playing this, it, it feels like a lot of nothing. You know, there's no real Oomph to being able to there's no risk to it because the cubes don't matter anymore so it's a fun game it's it's still but like this is 
the intensity of the ladder and actually trying to grind up to infinite is is a lot of fun. Yeah, it gives me purpose, right? It's not as aimless as it is in, in there. Pretty sure this is, I'm pretty sure this is fine. I almost want to snap him back, but that's bad Kyle talking, right? Right, that's, that's because I'm tilting a little bit. That's why I want to snap him back. They have Hawk. We have three Infinites, though. So, 26, 43, 22? What did we lose to? Arrow? Do they run arrow in this? I don't think they run arrow in this. They very well might. They definitely don't run leech and dark hawk, right? Rock slide makes the hawks bigger. Perfect. Psylocke. Okay, just some extra power. Add 60 power to the entire board. Overall, more than that, right? Because throne room, it's bigger. And we take power away from the hawk, right? I am Iron Man. I am Iron Man. Yeah, Iron Man ruined us. Iron Man ruined us. Kind of funny, Untap GG says there's no similar decks, but I mean, that's just kind of. Kind of just a hawk deck. We got discard cards going on. In a location with four cards. Some boosters, Spider Man boosters. That's fancy. Fancy. Boat gets to infinite so seamlessly. You know what I think it is, chat? I think that my MMR is better on the PC client than it is on my phone. So I fight weaker opponents on my phone. That's why I can climb on my phone. Oh, I'm bullshitting. I'm bullshitting. <laughs> I'm bullshitting. Sometimes you just have you just have some bad runs at it, you know? Is Shuri into Nimrod followed by Destroyer a thing? I want to try it, but I don't have those cards yet. Joey the Wall, uh, good to see you in chat. I've seen, I've seen that. It's a thing. I have seen that play before. Oh, Saron into Shuri into question mark. Play around arrow. Snap me back? I'm okay with that, I think. I think we can get around that. We're gonna lose another eight right here. <laughs> Collector, okay.
We lose the arrow. We lose to arrow. I, mean, I think that's okay. We've got Taskmaster in hand. And we've got Nebony Maw, so we can still put stuff in the big house. It locks down the lane, Crush. If Logjaw pulls out an Ebony Maw and it hasn't been Seroned, the ongoing will still take effect. You can't play this after turn three is only meaning you can't play it from your hand, but Logjaw could still pull it out. But then the ongoing would just really mess you up. Did I do that in the right order? Okay, I did that in the right order. Holy shit. Holy shit. It's fine. It's fine. Victory. <laughs> it's fine. What was that second one? Was it? What was the second? Did they absorbing man it? <laughs> yeah, Joey, that's you're looking for some pretty uh, rare cards. There's literally two morphs. Oh, because of Moon Girl. <laughs> All right, we got eight. Back up to seventy-two. That was a that was a roller coaster of emotions. <laughs> All right, we have Saron, we have She-Hulk, we have Red Skull. These are all good cards to have. What do we lose to? Chat, let's start thinking about what we lose to. I don't. All right, Goose, Goose we could potentially lose to, for sure, for sure, for sure, for sure. I ain't too worried about it, though. Because we got Maw. Maw will let us get in there. She-Hulk will let us get into the Nexus, all with big time power. Goose also protects us from Valkyrie and from, um, the other card. I mean, honestly, seeing that, we could just do this. So they have double She-Hulk now, right? That's what that means, is double She-Hulk? Yeah, they will skip and play two She-Hulk. Can we snap again? We already snapped, right? So we win this because we also pass. Double She-Hulk, double Demon. They snapped. Good, good, good. So we pass. We pass. Okay, Quinjet, a little weird, a little weird. They did play the demon. That's right, they did play the demon before the moon girl, right? Then we put down our She-Hulk, right? And then we bring all of their She-Hulks to the left. That should allow us to win right. I think that's eight cubes. 
This should win. Now, how could it not win um, if they fill up left? If they play... If they play three cards left, we lose. Yeah, right's going to be a little weird, too. We lose right. Shit, we might lose Superflow, too? I actually think we do lose, right? Fuck it. Fuck it. Let's find out. Pull the right cards, Arrow. Pull the right cards. Go mid! Okay. That's good, too. That works, too. <laughs> That jug was pretty clutch. That jug was pretty clutch. Not gonna lie. <laughs> whoa, 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 way too much. I'm out. <laughs> oh, good old arrow. We got a pretty good hand, right? We got Daredevil. We know what their turn five is going to look like. We got Shang-Chi to be able to destroy some kind of big card from their hand. We got Shuri to make our own big card. And we got Jubilee to potentially sacrifice in the Vort Mirror. Mm, not in the now. Is Cosmo going down important? How goes the climb? Captain Wigan, we are... <laughs> below where we started three hours ago uh but we're we're close to it um i'm getting kind of close to the end of the stream um it, it's been a rough it's been a rough climb it's been a lot of back and forth up and down it's been a lot of fun though um to be honest with you having a reason right again to climb and care about cubes being back on the ladder is very refreshing and very different from it so it's it's been good. It's been good, but I haven't been playing much this week and I'm I'm still not a hundred percent back into the, the good habits and the good behaviors. Yo, Shadow Dragon Zal, good to see ya. Uh have I been using this deck all stream? No, Shadow. Uh we were playing a Thanos deck previously um i changed one card of it from what i brought to the creators clash um i put she hulk in there for america chavez um i just don't think chavez is actually all that great and hey, are you guys friends maybe thank you friend for that follow getting us one step closer 1250 follower goal uh but i don't think chavez is is as good as uh, we may want her to be in a Thanos deck. So I went ahead and traded that out for a She-Hulk. Uh, this is my other Creator's Clash deck. So really both of these decks were originally created for battle mode, which is not necessarily good on the ladder. But we're, uh, we're here. First time here, Shadow Dragon. Hey, we're, cap we're, we're happy to have you here for sure. I really appreciate that follow. You've been using a nasty Uatu deck. Is it the one that, um, Windeber has been, has been playing around with? Because I've, uh, I haven't gotten to see it too closely. I'm always like working when I'm lurking in there because he's been, 
uh, hanging out right after lunch. But I heard he's been playing some spicy Uatu. Similar, except uh, he's missing the Nimrod. Gotcha. Shadow, you found Galactus and Thanos hit and miss. Or you find Galactus and Thanos hit and miss. Yeah, I can see that. Galactus is very, very predictable. So it can feel weird. Um, we beat. I don't think we lost to a Galactus tonight. No, we were able to call and see the Galactus and use like Magneto and stuff to pull things around and, and win Galactus fights. Um, Thanos, it's all in the stones. The stones are where all the power is at in Thanos. That's a null. I actually like seeing that a lot. And it's still could be low. Yeah, I know where I want. I don't know where to go. What kind of deck is a Uatu deck? It's actually a Galactus deck. They just like putting Uatu in there and trying to use Uatu when it's when it's useful. I have priority, and this is a Galactus deck. No, this is not a Galactus deck. But I still do have priority. So do they run Shang-Chi? If they run Shang-Chi, they win right. Wouldn't they snap if they ran Shang-Chi? Hey, are you guys friends? Maybe. Mercenary15, I appreciate that follow, friend. Getting us one step closer to our mysterious 1,250 follower goal. Now, what's going to happen when we get 1,250 followers? Well, it's a mystery. So you just have to wait and find out. You've been having a good win weight with uh win weight uh with Shuri and Panther Shadow Dragon. I like some Shuri Panther stuff. I do. We took the Panther out of this Shuri. Oh, show chat the t-shirt. Ah, oh, chat's seen this one a couple of times, I do believe, but we are rocking today the Mario Kart since 1992. So that's what we're running with. Did they, did they seriously Galactus on turn six with not a single Nimrod on the board? All right, that one hurt my frame. That one hurt my brain. Yeah, Zola on, on Fury, not Fury. Black Panther feels really dumb. All right, chat, this is, this is our last game. This is our last game, chat. We're an hour past uh, stream schedule. It's been a really fun and addicting climb, right? I'm very much addicted to climbing the ladder again. Like I said, like once you get infinite, there's no real reason to, um, ooh, Karina, redeem a narrator. Oh yeah, so as I was saying, chat, there's no real, real reason to care about games once you hit infinite. And that's when the fun begins. You know, we have a saying on this channel, no fun till infinite. And it's, it's a pretty good saying that I do pretty well agree with. Uh, we've got a daredevil beat daredevil. So that's actually the counter to daredevil. Very, very interesting to happen. Um, but there is a lot of fun on the water climb itself. A little bit of that tension, a little bit of that energy, a little bit of that hyper competitiveness of the water and trying to build in the very good habits that there are, which is really important because these good habits are things that we want to take into the bad mood so that we can win some turn. Speaking of tournaments, chat, I don't know if you're aware of The Snap Clash. It is a Discord community uh, that really focuses in on the competitive scene of Snap. Um, it is, is a fantastic place. I really do enjoy it. And we just saw a tweet earlier today that they're teaming up with some other competitive computer. Sorry, I had to get those mispronunciations out of my mouth. 
Snap Clash is teaming up with some other competitive communities. And as such, they will be uh, helping determine some of the invites to Snap.Fans 128 player invitational tournament. Now, they said more information would be coming in the future about how those invites will be sent out. And it is interesting to note that the invites themselves uh, are being spread out by all of the participating communities. So Snap.Fan's going to have some. Snap Clash will have some. So I'll continue to let you guys know what I see about that competitive space. And, um, yeah, maybe if you want to be in a tournament, maybe this Snap.Fan Invitational one is where you can go for it. I'm snapping them back. I'm snapping them back. Why do we snap them back? What do we lose to? Shang-Chi? Shang-Chi. Shang-Chi beats us mid. Shang-Chi beats us mid. Shang-Chi beats us left. We lose to Shang-Chi. We lose to Shang-Chi. We lose to Shang-Chi. Do they have Shang-Chi? Do they run Shang-Chi? What else do we lose to? We don't lose to Arrow, right? I don't think we lose to Arrow. Hmm. Hmm. All right. Last. Um, yeah. Gets around Quantum Realm. Uh, last. Last match. Last match. It's eight cubes in or it's eight cubes out. Let's find out, chat. Let's find out. Either way, it's been fun. Either way, it's been a fun time. Boat Times believes. I believe. There we are. Eight cubes inward. Very, very nice. We're up. To 74. That's right, chat. In a get fucked both three in a three hour stream, we have gained three cubes. <laughs> a cube rate of um yeah, lucky they went left with the cosmo for sure, Shadow Dragon. For sure. Um, but we got him. We got him. So there it is. There it is. Um, yeah, it's it's kind of funny. I mean, that's part of the ladder climb, right? Um, we gained more cubes in the past uh, 30 to 25 minutes. Felicity. Felicity. We're ending stream. I appreciate you and the Raiders so much. We're ending stream. <laughs> Felicity. Thank you guys so much. Um, Stick around, Felicity. Thank you so much. Felicity, an excellent and wonderful Marvel Snap player. Guys, if you have not, uh, now we have more people to rate another person. Absolutely, Felicity, without a doubt. Guys, she was at Creators Class. She is amazing. Go give Felicity a follow. Um, you will not be upset by that by any stretch of the imagination. She was a fantastic friend to uh, hang out with at hey, Creators friends? Clash and Maybe. had an absolute blast playing her at Creators Clash as well. Uh, Hyro 4E, thank you so much for that follow. Getting us one step closer to our mysterious 1,250 follower goal. Um, yeah, Felicity, I was just telling chat, we got, we started, we started stream about three hours hey, ago friends? and we've gotten Maybe. It three cubes we've net positive three cubes so now that we're back up to a positive climb on the ladder <laughs> i gotta go to bed get ready for work in the morning uh jess asara thank you so much for that follow friend really hey, appreciate you guys it friends? and jack Maybe. the forge thank you so much for the follow guys you know how it is around here I've said it once, I'll say it again, I'll say it a million times over and over. Marvel Snap is a shit ton of fun, but it is more fun when I get to play with you live on Twitch.tv. Keep 
Hey, look out, we're gonna go over to our credit screen. That's where you're gonna see your name if you were lurking, if you were chatting, or if you were just overall, and you know you were, being awesome. Chat, I'll see you Sunday for our Snap stream. Stay through the credits, we'll find somebody to raid, and I will see you next time. Bye, buddy. Hope you find your dad.